everybody, we are playing Stardew Valley. And I already did this. And so we're just gonna say, okay. And let's see what's going on. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Ooh, that's deep. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later. Oh, there are security cameras, that's weird. My mom's with me. <laughs> if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Butterfly Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay. I can skip the intro. Hello, you must be Butterfly. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lou has sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Home. He's right here. He's there and right now. Tidying, uh, tidying up things for your arrival. The farm's right over here. If you'll follow me. This is Butterfly Farm. Wow! What happened to this place? <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yes, we will, Robin. And here we are, your new home. Oh, there's Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. 
You know, everybody's been asking about you. It's not every day that somebody new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little, little bit more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Butterfly. She was trying to make you dissatisfied so that, so that way you'd buy one of her house upgrades. What? Humph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Welp, good luck. Okay, everybody, now that we're here, well, what do we do? Oh, what's this? Parsnip seeds. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, so he was putting this in here too. Okay, so we have a TV, regular chairs. Oh, we can interact with the campfire. Oof. Let's tidy up this place. So we're... So really, I've, I've played Stardew Valley before. And... It's really simple once you get the hang of it. I'd say that your tool placement is the hardest thing to get right. But it's easier over time. So we're gonna get rid of this stuff. So the scythe gets rid of grass. The pickaxe gets rid of rocks. Watering can is for watering stuff once you start planting. Hoe is for hoeing. And the axe is for getting rid of wood. Now, over time, you can upgrade your tools and get more stuff, like this big stump right here. Like, see? Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. But since we don't have any minerals yet, and since the mines aren't available on the first, like, two, three days, we won't be able to get those resources yet. So we're going to start getting more of these plants. Now we're going to get some more logs. I'd say that wood is probably the most important resource because you use it to make chests. Really in general, this game is a lot like Stardew Valley. I mean, it's a lot like Minecraft. It is Stardew Valley. <laughs> and so eventually, once we get a pet, which is like on the 18th, I think, of spring, you have a pet and so you can water their watering bowl. So we're going to go and meet the townspeople. That is one of our missions. So we've met two out of 28 people. So let's go. Well, I guess I should get all this out of the way first. That sounds so cool, doesn't it? Oh, 
and also something that's nice is that your tools don't have durability so you can use them you don't have to repair them you, you can use them all you want oh i got some coal Oh wow, there's a lot of grass over here. But you don't want to clear out all the grass because you use it for chickens once you get chickens because they eat the grass. Oh wow, I'm really running low on energy. Did not realize that. So in the bottom corner, in the bottom corner over here, you will see your energy. And then up here, you will see what time it is. You will see if it is, right here, you will see if it's rain or sun. Right here, you'll see what day it is. And this is how much gold you have. This is your journal. And this is like, if it's night, day, morning, noon, whatever. And so we're gonna start hoeing. But I want to tell you guys something that will make your life so much easier in Stardew Valley. Well, easier for tool placement. So if you go into settings or options, you can say, always show tool hit location. And so now, So now there's gonna be a little red box in front of me that'll say where I'm gonna hit. It's really useful. Oh, I already have some exceeds, that's good. So now we're just gonna hoe this out. One, two. So we're gonna water our crops. Oh crap, I do not have a lot of energy. <laughs> Did not realize that. Okay, one second. So, let's see here. And so to get back energy, since we don't have any crops yet, I'm just gonna have to eat this leek. <laughs> eh, yes, eat leek. So you can get, so you can get forage, and you can eat that to give you energy. I think that's really convenient when you don't have a lot of crops or if it's your like first day. And thankfully walking doesn't take up energy. And we're gonna go that, 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 that. The coal's gonna the coal's gonna come in handy later. So we're gonna go over here. With the little bit of energy that we have, let's see. 98 out of 207, wow. Hello, you must be a butterfly, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Well, I'm butterfly. <laughs> My husband runs the general store here, and and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Huh. No, I have not met her. 
seeds for sale. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Leah. That's a really good name. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Huh, so I did. Hey, it's Miss Butterfly, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy products from you for a good price. Okay. Oh, this, this must be Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard somebody was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I, en I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Huh. Ooh, who are you? Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Let's see who lives here. You're not good enough friends with Penny to enter her bedroom. Hmm. Oh no, I think that music is stuck in my head now. Ooh, so funny. Oh, who are you? Ah, oh, the, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, clam. Muscle. Shoot, eagles. Shoot, 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 shoot. Another clam. Oh, it's over here. Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Well, I do not have 300 pieces of wood. I sold all my wood. Oh, hi again. So you live in that bedroom. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mario, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, I've been looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> oh, hi there. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Who are you? Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? No, it's not. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. Well, humph to you. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. Well, hello, Elvon. I think that's how you say it. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay. Oh, I can't talk to her. So I think that we should go on over to the Star Drop Saloon. Because that's a good place to meet a lot of pe people. Oh, yep. Like I said. Hey, kids. The name's Pam. Uh, nothing like a sip... Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to one of these old bones. Interesting. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Butterfly. <laughs> hi. Well, hello there. I'm Gush. I'm Gush, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Huh. Good even. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Ooh, I can read on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Um, I know you're here. <laughs> oh, I think this was because I didn't finish my conversation with her. Oh, that would make sense. Wait. 
Who are you? I don't know you are. Why are you talking to me? Rude. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything back here. Journey of the... What? Oh, crap. interesting hi who are you er uh, hi I'm Clint hi Clint Clint I'm the town blacksmith if you ever need to upgrade your tools I'm your guy oh and also you can get in the chairs I think that's pretty cool that you can get in the chairs oh let's see What should we do now? I think I'm gonna chop this sapling down. Forward. Four wood. One wood. Two wood. wood. That's fun. Oh, wow. My character should probably go to sleep. Oh, did I sell anything? No, I didn't sell anything. Uh, I'll give you one of those clams. One of those coal, all of my wood. Yes, I want to go to sleep for the night. I got 288 gold. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo. Your progress has been saved. <coughs> well, I think that's good for today, everybody. Bye. See you next time. Wait, can, can I like wave my hand?